Namaste everyone. Today's story from Joy of Reading is Drip, Drop, Drip. The author is Amar Goswami. The illustrator is Partho Sen Gupta. And the translator is Manisha Chaudhary. The publisher is Pratham Books. Drip, Drop, Drip. So these small round shaped water is called a drop or a droplet. And when these small droplets fall like one by one slowly, it's called a drip. So these drops of small round water, drops of water are slowly falling down. That means drip. So the story is something about water droplets falling, drip or dripping, drip, drop, drip. So let's see what this is about. There was a forest, a deep green forest. One day there was thunder and rain. So there is this beautiful forest, green forest, meaning lots and lots of trees, and a large forest as well, deep forest. What happened one day? There was rain coming from the skies. Before rain, what do we hear? Those sounds that we hear from the sky. Dudum! that is thunder. So we have a lightning coming, the streak of light followed by this huge sound. And then the rain is pouring down. It's coming down from the sky. The next morning was bright and sunny. All the animals crept out of their homes. They heard a strange sound. Drip, drop. Drip. What was this? They all stopped to listen. So after the rains had fallen completely from the sky, the next day there was no clouds. So all the sunlight came through. It was so bright. That means a lot of light was there and sunny. You could clearly see the sun. So all the animals came, crept out of their homes like this. But then they heard a sound, a strange sound means that they have not heard at all before. So, and what was that sound? Drip, drop, drip. How does it sound? Tuk, 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 like that they heard and they didn't know what it was. So they all stopped and listened to the sound like that with their ears. The lion thought deeply. The cheetah thought deeply. The elephant thought deeply. The bear also thought deeply. So all these animals, you can see the elephant here, the cheetah here, plus the lion and the bear, they all were thinking so much. Deeply means a lot, so much they were thinking. What were they thinking about? What is this sound? So all of them, here is the lion, here is the bear, here is the elephant. We also have a deer here and a rabbit. They were all thinking, what is this sound? Tuk, 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 like that. And they were worried, I don't know, let's find out. But their faces definitely looks as though they're all, this sound, scared, worried. The bear was scared. He hid in the bush. The deer trembled. He ran for his life. So looks like they're all afraid or scared. So the bear was scared. So what did he do? He went behind a bush, a small uh, plant that was there and hid behind it. So he hid himself. You can't see him. And then the deer shake, he was trembling oh, like that. And he ran for his life. The cheetah did not linger. The lion said, I am not scared. But he also padded away quietly. The big animals tucked their tails between their legs and ran. So the cheetah 
So it's a cheetah, it's this spotted, yellow spotted animal, right? He did not linger, meaning he did not stay there. The lion said, I am not scared. I am not afraid. But what? He also went away quietly without making a noise. He left. All the big animals, what does this term mean? Tuck their tails between their legs. Meaning they did not have the courage to do anything. They were not brave enough and they all ran. So that's what the term means. Tuck their tails between their legs. Meaning they did not do anything about it and went away quietly. They were not courageous enough or brave enough. The ant said, come on friends, let us look for drip, drop, drip. We are many of us, so there is nothing to fear. So however, the small tiny ant said, come on friends, all of us, let us go and find what the sound is. So we are there, so many of us. So we should not be afraid. So he called all of them and said, let's go and find out about this sound. The mouse said, very good brother and the firefly said, I will lead the way. The cat said, I am with you. The rabbit said, me too. So now these animals, the mouse, you can see the mouse said, very good brother ant. And the firefly here said, I will be leading the way. I will go in the front and lead all of you. You can all follow behind me. And the cat, what did the cat say? Here is the cat. I am with you, uh, little ant. And the rabbit also said, the rabbit said, me too, me too. So look at this, what is happening? There are these small rounds of water or droplets falling on the leaves, which have a little bit of water in them. And they are making the sound, tup, 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 drip, drop, drip. They set off to find drip, drop, drip. Then they all saw it, fat drops of water dripping on the leaves. Drip, drop, drip. It could be heard all over the forest. So these fat round water droplets were dripping slowly, falling tuk, tuk, on the leaves. And that could be heard all around the forest. The ant puffed up his chest. See, everybody nodded and smiled. So now the ant said, hmm, puffed up his chest, just like blowing air into his chest. See, so everyone felt so stupid and then they nodded. Hmm, they all agreed and smiled. I hope you enjoyed this story with me. And this is a great example. Sometimes we are scared of so many things, but then when we actually find out about them, they are these little things that we needn't be scared about. Bye. Difficult words. Crept. Move slowly without being heard. Scared. Frightened. Try these. What did you learn from this story. Have you been afraid of something and then found out later that you needn't have worried about it? I hope you enjoyed the story with me. Till we meet again next time, this is Harini signing off. Bye.